What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Ash the Man. Thank you so much for tuning in. And we are here to talk about that Sword Art Online Alization World of the Underworld Episode 9. Sword and Fist. Now, with the last episode that happened where Alice went crazy on the battlefield for her underling um Idrati, um kind of like hit the dust, but we got a chance to see what kind of strategy they want to hit with the Dark Territory in the end. And they want to make sure that the main unit is focused on them why they kind of like break down each of the factions of the dark territory like i think one of the first ones that are up is you know the fish unit that's what i'm gonna call them the fish unit now apparently their bodies is supposed to be able to reflect swords now knight shanti which she is the synthesis 12 she takes to the battlefield and, and starts to go crazy on them and i mean not saying like she just went berserk but it's like she is so emotionless she haven't really found that like that drive to really like get excited about fight if she have to do it she have to do it pretty much how it is and her blade is so thin that it just like kind of like just pierce the skin um and what i mean is then it's kind of like flimsy like when you see that the main guy from the muck unit pretty much sent his underling to fight her because they said one night you seen that she was able to take her um whole arm off which is like one slash when they seen it they was like yo that she dangerous so then she was just like taking taking guys out left and right and then the main monk and her had sort of a, a good like about like he was able to break off her arm and she was able to get cuts and everything on him saying that like i guess like when he attacks his actual body gets soft at his arms to her so she figured out the strategy but she still wanted to go at the arms i think she's kind of like getting that pettiness inside of her so she actually developing a certain kind of emotion but end up retreating from the battle because the main unit was catching up to the monk unit and she didn't want to be overwhelmed so she kind of like you know flew for the battle to pick up with things left off maybe at the previous day now you get to see um gabriel's right hand man kind of like take to the field of you know the in the forest were like taking guys out you know from the supply unit and he had his legs kind of like surrounded um kirito um you know protégés was you know getting a you know you know hands handed to him now the strategy in this point since you know they were able to break past the surprise attack is that the um Clay, he's pretty much is going to stay back to kind of like defend the unit off while alice go to support him and he uh the other night is pretty much is going to retreat back now when this all happening we got a chance to see a special someone hit the battlefield finally and that was asuna oh baby asuna she finally hit the battlefield and was able to give them the support that they was able to need to being able to survive and which she pretty much just created a hole in the ground kept off his truce who put a hole in the ground to kind of like drop him down which i'm pretty sure he's not dead he's a survivalist he's part of the army so i'm pretty sure he probably gonna use the nice and probably like crawl out unseen and then she created some type of like light boarding so i guess like the enemies can't come and attack and probably will have them regroup and being able to form a different strategy when she hits on there i'm pretty sure her interaction with kirito kind of like sparked things up and kind of um going in the next few episodes i would say around like episode 14 maybe we're going to see kirito kind of like you know come come back so that's definitely interesting now one thing i will say about this is that i wish the dark territory generals was a little bit more stronger and a little bit more like you know devious because the thing is is that like uh, if you've been watching the episodes ever since this started with i believe episode five we haven't like i'm not saying that the generals haven't been trying to do anything because one of the knights was definitely in trouble when there was like a uh, flux error that was going on so that was definitely interesting to see that he kind of like was giving her a little bit of a trouble, but they really haven't been too much of a problem. They've been getting bested, you know, from left to right and bested really bad. <laughs> so hopefully, like as things starting to wind down and also not making an appearance, we actually get to see more of what the ter territory has to offer with their knights. But other than that, it was a pretty good episode. I can't, you know, complain about it. 
too much. So yeah, but other than that, I just want to thank you guys for definitely tuning in uh, this week for, you know, starting our allization world of the underworld. Um, leave a comment below and tell me how you thought about the episode. Um, hit it with a thumbs up. I would like you, if you guys subscribe to the channel, hit that notification button. Other than that, Ashton Man is out. Peace.